everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and welcome back to another Alpha Pokemon hunting video. We're going to be doing the Crimson Mirelands and going for all 19 Alpha Pokemon here. Again, remember, these are just the static Pokemon that spawn. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content. When you subscribe, this number goes up. So let's keep going. It's, it's, it's moving. This device only updates every 100 subscribers. Let's get into the video. Okay, so for this Pokemon Alpha Hunt, we're going to be using the OP Sticky Glob method. As you can tell, I have 144 Sticky Globs. If you want to know how to do it, what's going on with it, make sure to check out my How to Hunt Alpha Pokemon video, which should be somewhere on the screen over here. All right, so let's get on into it. We are starting at the Meyer Lands Camp, and the first Pokemon we're going to be going for is Raichu, located right up here. So just head over here. And we should be seeing Raichu right there. There it is. Let's go ahead, target it. It's gonna do the yell. We got one sticky glob. Two, three, four. And Raichu is caught. These Parasects are really annoying up here. <laughs> the next alpha Pokemon we're gonna be going for is Tangrowth. As you can see, just chilling over here. It is located right there. So I'm gonna mark my spot. Tangrowth, let's go ahead and grab it. Look at that. I, I still wonder what's under Tango. So Tango's gonna throw these, these grass balls at you. You just wanna dodge that real quick. Three, four, there we go. And he's still going after me after being stunned. That's insane. Tangrowth is disgustingly good. <laughs> and is this a cot? Nice, Tangrowth done. So make sure to take that out on your map. Here it is again. The next alpha Pokemon that we are going to be going for is Ursaring. And Ursaring has two spawns, not just one. So there's two Alpha Ursaring. This is the first location we're going to be going over. By the way, here's the first one marked on your map. If you get away enough from them, you'll avoid the whole entire stun. So, okay, there we go. One, two, three. Do a little dodging here. It's not so clean. I'm not so clean at this. I gotta get better at my dodging. Okay, he's done. And caught in the Ultra Ball. Let's get a nice shake. One, two. All right, great. Done. From the first Earthstring's location, all you gotta do is just head straight down into this little valley here, and you should find the cutest Alpha Pokemon ever, Alpha Pachirisu. There it is. There's a yell. Two. And that does uh, the same attack as the Luxray. All right, that's our four. It's stunned. Then we hit it from the back. Done. Pachirisu done, and it's marked on your map right over here. So go ahead if you feel like marking it up. There it is. And just like that, we are already four alpha Pokemon in out of the 19. This alpha is a random alpha. It's not a static one. It's just a random Roserade just chilling over here. So this one doesn't count as the static encounters. So I'm just going to catch it anyway for the sake of <laughs> catching it. I'm happy we got one. Alrighty, the next alpha Pokemon is going to be located in this area. As you can see, we're already staring at the Toxicroak from here. So I'm just going to just go ahead, bum rush it. He's going to do a little yell. And do his yell. Okay, we got knocked off. One. Okay, that is a nice move. Three, four. Okay, he's he's distracted. Other Pokemon will try to hit you here, so just be careful of all those poisons. All right, we got it. So let's go ahead, mark it on the map. Boom. There's another Pokemon here as well. I turn around. There it is. Torterra is right over here. Perfect. Torterra is gonna do a yell. You gonna yell, buddy? That's one hit. As you notice, we're just doing two, three, four. And he's done. And hit this with an Ultra Ball. Caught. Oh, did not catch. Okay. One, two. All right. Oh my gosh. Went a little bit harder than it should be. Still not caught yet. No way. We got Stun Spores. We got Hypnosis. We did. These guys are just so annoying. Okay. We got the Totera after three attempts. So there it is. Totera marked on your map. Nice way to get a starter. And we're going to keep moving. Okay, we are not dying in this video. Because let me tell you something. I am getting memed on Twitter for dying too much in this game. And I am not willing to afford to get another one. The next alpha Pokemon is going to be right in the same area. It's going to be right in this middle of this water spot. I believe there's also a nice uh, little purple flame there that you can see at night. So I'm just going to head over to it. I don't even think it saw me. <laughs> it didn't even see me. I could have just thrown a ball at it. Okay, great. And throw an Ultra Ball after it is stunned. Okay, and whoa! Okay, all right, all right, Goomies, calm down. And this one is done. And we got to see the mastery out of this. Great. Now, once you cross this little river here, you're going to bump into the second Ursa Ring. There he is. 
Hey, I still got hit by the stun. I was trying. Okay, one, two, three, four. Won't even get that off. Hit him for the back. Beautiful job. Marking that on the map as well. Second arrow stream complete. Now from this location, we're going to be heading into the really nasty muddy areas. Okay, we have arrived over here at the location. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this alpha Pokemon for you on the map. Get off this. It is the Hippopotopotis. And also the male and female have two different colorations. So if you're going for either one of them, one's going to be yellow and black and the other one's going to be fully black. Okay, this one is stunned. Also, by doing the stun method, it's pretty good because you can kind of see which Pokemon need that in their requirements. So I'm, I'm getting I'm getting Pokedex requirements I didn't even need. Next spot we'll be going to is the Scarlet Bog, where we will be finding our next alpha Pokemon. If you have unlocked the Bog Bound Camp, just go ahead right over to this and we'll walk right to the Scarlet Bog. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is not one of my favorite areas in this game. It is disgusting. It just looks like poop water and I'm not a big fan of it. I hate that there's poison Pokemon throwing mud at me and, and just throwing poison, and it sucks. All right, here it is. One. I, I, I could have caught it again without doing all this. All right, it's stunned. It's done. I'm going to hit this one with a Giga Sun Ball because it kind of stinks. I'm going to make sure it doesn't pop out and spray me. Great. Skunk Tank is caught. I'm going to go ahead and mark it on the map. So Scarlet Bog completes, and we're going to keep moving. The next alpha Pokemon is located on top of this little area. It is a very cool spot. It's, it's almost like you're encountering something amazing. And then I just come up here to find an Onyx. So it has its own little circle spot. I like it. I like it. So there's Onyx. He is very intimidating, by the way. It's a complete rock stick. So he's just going to go ahead and charge at you here. Three, four. And we got the stun. Going to hit it from the back. Going to catch the rock snake. Can we get it? All right, Rock Snake done. We're gonna mark that on the map. It is already marked because I already showed it being marked. So from the Diamond Settlement, we're gonna go over to this location here and find another Alpha Pokemon. This is gonna be Alpha Rhyhorn. And that, why is an Alpha, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I didn't need that right now. There is an Alpha Parasect here that is not supposed to be coming at me right now. I am currently focusing on our Rhyhorn. So gonna have to hold on, it's not your video. Okay, here comes a charge. I did not dodge at all. Oh, no. Worst dodge ever. Okay. Uh, three, four. All right. We got it stunned. We just have to maneuver around all these Pokemon here. Okay. We got a nice back strike there. And this Parasect is also coming at me. All right. Marked. It's done. It's absolute chaos here. If you if you need an Alpha Parasect, you can get one in the Obsidian Field Lands. I have a video for that as well. So go check that one out. Let's continue on. Next Alpha Pokemon that we're going to be going for is going to be at the Shrouded Ruins. And there it is. Licky Licky, baby. Menacing. That's it. Stunned. Let's go. Let's go. Hit Licky Licky from the back. One. Two. All right. Easy, 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 easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark that. From the Shrouded Ruins, we're going to head over a little west. And we're going to go to the Cloud Pool Ridge. Oh, look. On my way there, I just spotted a space-time distortion. Go ahead and check out this video on the screen here to see the cool Pokemon you can get. Okay, so here we are in the Cloud Pool Ridge. And as you can see, there is a freaking Haunch Crow just sitting over here menacingly at me. And as you can tell... This thing's not going to spawn during the day. So this is a nighttime spawn. Luckily, as we were we were trying to catch all these Pokemon, it became night. And it's done. Oh, these little, little Hodge Crows, little Merc Crows. It's the first alpha I ever caught. Look, at I did that just for you in this video. I've never caught it before. Nighttime, okay? Nighttime. If you go to sleep and come back during the day, instead of the Hodge Crow, you're going to see a Roserade here. So let's go ahead and catch this. By the way, you don't have to... Exit the zone and come back to the zone to get this Roserade to spawn. You literally just have to switch the time of day if you haven't caught it yet. And uh, that's it. All right. This is the second time I've stunned a Roserade. There you go. Number caught. Two out of two. You know I did this without you guys <laughs> by the amount of Pokemon seen when I do catch it. Now, I originally wanted to make this video where you would just have the mounts where you progress. But since a lot of people are going to be revisiting these tasks, I do have all the mounts. I'm in the post game, and I believe it is possible to catch this Pokemon here with maybe a fly ball. It might be possible if it gets close enough if you're able to bait it. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to hop on in because I have the swimming mount. 
we're just gonna get this alpha whisk cash over here so one two three four nope Water Pokemon are the most difficult, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. D do you find water Pokemon to be the most difficult to stun? I do. All right, and we got the Whiz Cash. And there it is. I marked it on the map. And now we got another marker here that apparently I left on the map. And we're going to head to that one. There's another random alpha Pokemon that has spawned again. It is Tangela. Oh my gosh. I'm going to catch it because I need it for my collection. Because <laughs> it just randomly spawned. So another shortcut in the video. I'm sorry. I get distracted. I'm done. Okay, I got it. All right, moving on to the actual Pokemon. And, oh, there it is, right in front of us. We just walk right by it. It is one of the most hated Pokemon of this game to me. Alpha Carnivine. I'm not a big fan of this Pokemon. Let me know if you do enjoy this Pokemon. And, done. To me, Carnivine is almost like the Zubat of this area. If you continue going south, you'll see another Alpha literally right next to it. So I'll just mark it here. It is the Vespa Queen. Well, let's go ahead. One, two, three. And I can already see the comments happening. Philly, there are so many times you could have just thrown a Pokeball at that Pokemon, but you did it. I know. I just like to throw sticky globs at them. I'm a, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. I just love sticky globs, okay? Don't judge me. We are heading to the Drowning Meadow. The little Zigzaggy and Maisy over here. But you will hear this very loud Pokemon, and there it is. You know, I could just... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not be that guy with a sticky glob, okay? There we go. First, first throw without a sticky glob. Okay, I believe we have marked all the alpha Pokemon we've gotten in this video on the map. So if you want to go ahead and screenshot this, feel free to do that. So here are all the 19 alpha Pokemon we caught on this journey. It's technically 18 because the Ursa Ring goes twice, but 19 sounds like a good number because that is how many static spawns are there. So we got our Raichu, our Tangrowth, our Pachi, Toxicroak, Torterra, Sligu, Double Ursa Ring here, level 55 and 41. Skunk Tank, Onyx, which you can make into a Steelix. We got our Rhyhorn, which you can bring all the way to Rhyperior. That's pretty good. Get an early Rhyperior. We got Licky Licky over here, level 52. Best of Queen 61. Carnivine, hate that Pokemon. If Howdon, make sure you try to catch both variants in terms of the color, the male and the female version. The female one is completely black. Then you got your Wish Cash. Let me know if you guys are able to catch that one with a Fly Ball or a Jet Ball. We got Roserade and Honchkrow, which is a night and day spawn. And finally, we have Yan Mega. All right, you now know how to catch every single alpha Pokemon in the Crimson Mirelands and their locations. Good luck on your alpha hunting journey over here. I hope you get all of them and, and hopefully you get blessed with the shiny alpha if you are in this area. My name is Philly Beats You. Thank you for watching this video. If you didn't hit subscribe, hit it. It helps the channel out and it will make this number go higher when you click back on the next video. Please come back and check out if this actually goes up. And let me know down in the comments below which alpha Pokemon in this area was your favorite. I will see you all in the next video. Take care, peace, goodbye, and stay safe. Don't let any alpha Pokemon take you out in this game.